Stand by for liftoff, everybody. We are ready to imagine it here at the Imagination Station with Carl Nelson and the safety dance. Yes. Here we go. Okay. What are we doing? Well, today we're going to talk about hydrogen gas. All right, so I want you to uh, appreciate how hydrogen gas combusts in the presence of oxygen that's just on the outside of the balloon. I okay? appreciate that. So we've got the fire extinguisher on hand. I, I want you to just go ahead and take this stick, oh, thanks. snuggle it up to the bottom yes. of the balloon. Let's Gently caress. Yeah. All okay. Right. Give it a give it a try. All right. Yeah. So I appreciate that. That is called a deflagration. <laughs> a deflagration because the hydrogen combusted with the oxygen around the outside of the balloon. If we had a high-speed camera view of that, the balloon would have popped, peeled back, and the hydrogen would then begin combusting with the oxygen outside. That's cool. Now, a detonation is totally different. If we combine the hydrogen and oxygen together, oh, no. we could actually get a detonation, and it would be a supersonic, much, much louder than that. That's kind of what I was thinking when you said detonation. So, here's what I thought we would do. I thought this balloon is filled with hydrogen gas. This is a one gallon jug that I've cut the bottom off of, okay? So there's a hole in the bottom, big hole, and a tiny hole in the top. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna fill this container with hydrogen gas. Now is this reinforced or is that for looks? That's just for looks. Oh, it, it's, right. just, it's just to be silly. Okay. Um, does absolutely nothing for the science. Got it. So we're gonna fill this with hydrogen gas and we'll seal the top. Then we're gonna light it and we'll do that while you're holding it, okay? <laughs> and, it, it, and then we can talk about the science of what's happening. So I don't want to get too far ahead of what we're going to do here. Uh, that's a now, good thing he knows what he's doing. Now, um, <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. I want you to hold this with yeah. your right hand, and right. if you can, stick a, your index finger from up my, on top. From the from, same yeah, hand. Perfect. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush some hydrogen gas into this container. And I don't want any of the residual oxygen from the atmosphere to be in there. So what I want you to do first is remove your finger, and now I'm going to let hydrogen flow into the container. Okay. Hopefully we're flushing out the oxygen. Go ahead and cap it with your finger. We'll fill a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I've got more hydrogen than I'll probably fill inside this balloon. Now, take your finger off. We're gonna flush again. Again, we're just trying to get pure hydrogen gas inside there. No oxygen from the atmosphere. And Can you tell I'm nervous? Are you nervous? A little bit. Okay, let's let it go for a little bit longer. Okay, so go ahead and cap it. Cap it. Now I'm gonna fill it with hydrogen. Oh boy. And I can tell the hydrogen is completely inside because it has a great thermal conductivity and I'll feel it's like cold. a cool breeze yeah. on my hand down below. Which uh, I hope won't feel. Okay, perfect. Now, don't take your finger away. What I want you to do is extend your arm out away from your body. Oh, great. Okay, there may be a little hydrogen gas flowing off the side. I don't want to ignite that. So. I'm gonna stand behind you over here. Go ahead Great. and take your finger away. We're gonna light the top and hold it. Don't tip it, keep it straight up and down. Okay. There's a teeny tiny little flame that's almost it. invisible, hard to see. That's hydrogen gas flowing out. It's lighter than air. It's flowing out into the atmosphere, combusting with the oxygen outside here. Now, as we use up that hydrogen gas, as it burns off, the pressure's gonna drop. That flame is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's gonna go down inside the container, right. which is now filled with a combustible mixture of oxygen oh, no. from the atmosphere and hydrogen that we put inside there. Now, this is always unpredictable because you never know how long it's going to take for the hydrogen to completely burn off. But remember, once that flame drops in, you've got a good hold on that jug, right? Oh, because no. we're kind of oh. making, don't tip oh. it, don't tip it. Okay. We're kind of making a rocket here and I can see the flame is getting really, really tiny. We've got a lot of hydrogen inside there. I'm going to move this away just in okay. case. <laughs> so you just go ahead and hold on to it. Yeah, sure. And it's getting right. really hard to see. It's, Again, we're going to get getting, that it's getting combustible hard mixture of oxygen and hydrogen inside the jug. And remember, the bottom of the jug has an opening on the bottom, a pretty big opening. And this, this is a prank that scientists this pull is on just each like other. Super compelling to you. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what happens when you get the right mix of hydrogen and oxygen in a container with a big hole on the bottom. Well, how about that, everybody? So, again, Ooh. don't try that at home, obviously. <laughs> okay. Um, I was a little nervous because do, I didn't know what was going to happen. We do combustion shows hmm. every day, and we also talk about safety with fire extinguishers. How to that's, use fire that's extinguishers. That's good. It was here at the it's ready. Here just in case. No need for it because, as I mentioned, he's a professional. <laughs> if you want to come on down here and see the trained scientists try this out, don't try it at home. You can come to the Imagination Station. And on Saturdays, and if you live in Lucas County, you bring a kid who's 12 and under. That kid gets in free with a paid adult admission, and you can watch the combustion show. Feel like how warm you said. It's warm. Yeah. It's really wow. Warm. It went from nice. cold to very warm. Great. That's great. <laughs> That's how you imagine it.